A new study ranks South Carolina public schools eighth in the nation for worst states for teachers to work in. Our own Katherine Polovchek sat down with a former South Carolina public school teacher to hear more about her experience. Caitlin O'Neill's living room looks like a kindergarten classroom. And for five years, all of the books, toys, and backpacks that lined the room weren't just used by her three-year-old daughter, but were classroom necessities inside John P. Thomas Elementary School. Until Caitlin decided that it was best, she left the classroom for good. I felt really guilty leaving. Caitlin is one of the many South Carolina public school teachers who have permanently stopped teaching in recent years due to worsening conditions inside classrooms on top of low pay. She now works as a paralegal. We couldn't ever get substitutes, ever. They refused to come to our school. It was that bad. The South Carolina Annual Educator Supply and Demand Report states that approximately 7,300 teachers left their positions during or at the end of the 2017 to 2018 school year, which is an increase of nearly 10% compared to the number of teachers who left during or at the end of the 2016 to 2017 school year. Following the statewide teacher walkouts last spring, some changes have been put in place, including raising starting teacher salaries by 9% and all other teacher salaries by 4%. But in South Carolina, teachers still get paid among some of the lowest in the nation. And despite the one-day walkout last spring, typically South Carolina teachers don't strike temporarily. They go on strike by walking out for good. While low pay is one of the many reasons teachers say they end up leaving the classroom, for Kaylin, even more so than the inadequate pay was the lack of support she received from administrative officials here at the Title I school she once worked at that caused her to walk away from the profession she once was so passionate about. There was no one to speak for us, and that's the problem, is when there's issues, where do you go? But even though she said she had to leave, she said it wasn't an easy choice. I was the one stable person that they had, and that's what made me feel bad. Despite her negative experience in the classroom, I just don't want anyone to be discouraged to be a teacher because you could be that one in a million. For Carolina News, I'm Katherine Polovchek. The Center for Educator Recruitment, Retention, and Advancement says they are working on keeping teachers in the classroom by focusing on proper recruitment and development of teachers before they enter the schools.